Hello all. Today we are going to see about the dimension of the V1 block, uh, which is manufactured by IIW Internal Institute for Welding. This is the V1 block that you see here. This thickness is 25 mm, and uh, this total length is 300 mm. And you can see uh, glass here, which is called as a flexi glass. It's 23 mm. This is flush with the material here, and this side 2 mm is taken taken out so that its thickness is 23 and uh, this right here is 200 mm and the overall dimension for this is 100 mm this radius right here is to 100 mm and this one is 25 mm it's like a groove shape you can see this one. and we have also a side drill hole here which is 15 mm from the top and from the side it is 35 mm so Right now we are going to see the calibration of a normal probe using V1 block. Uh, this right here is the ultrasonic flaw detector which, are, which we are going to use for this calibration. This model is uh, Modesonic Einstein 2 GGS. It's an uh, Indian make model. We are going to see the calibration of a normal probe which is a 10 diameter crystal, 4 MHz frequency using V1 block. We are first we are going to connect the probe uh, using a BNC connector and the LEMO cable. We have two, two ports right here, one is for the transmission, one is for the receiving and here is a charging port. Uh, since we are using a normal probe, we can use a single wire which acts as a transmitter, transmitter as well as a receiver. Okay. First we are going to connect this probe. Yeah. and then this cable with the probe right here okay. uh, as you can see this is the ultrasonic flaw detector Einstein 2 DGS we have 11 menus a total of 11 menus you can see here you know 1 2 3 up to 11 and uh, this right here the green color uh, line you see this is called the gate we can reduce the gate, increase and decrease the gate also. This serves as a purpose for uh, detecting uh, the size of the indications or cracks or anything or the dimension you can see by using this gate. We place this gate on the echo to see the signal uh, here and here. You can change the menus according to your uh, preference. When you are using an angle probe, you can use this. Using a normal probe, you, can, uh, you don't want this. You can switch it off since we are going to see only the depth here if you are going to use angle probe this is a must then uh, this option right here is gain which is going to increase the amplitude of the sound waves which travel uh, through from this crystal to this block uh, this right here is the zero of the probe we have to calibrate this to 25 mm which is a known thickness so that we get four backward echoes uh, properly once we calibrate this, then we can do the inspection. Uh, this is the velocity for steel, which is 5.9 to 0 uh, meter per second. Then the ra range I have set is 105 mm. Uh, because I am going to set 4 back wall echoes, which is 25, 50, 75 and 100. So I have just put 105 mm instead of 100, so that I can see the back wall clearly. Uh, so I am going to start calibrating here. Uh, calibrating. Before that, I will check the menus first. If there is anything wrong, we can change it right now. The mode has to be single since it is a single crystal probe. Then you can see everything is zero. Since you are not using angle probe, we are using only a single crystal probe. Everything is zero. Then that's it. Let's start. Okay. First, we have to put a couplet. I am going to use an oil only, just a 2T oil, normal motor oil. You can use water, glycerin, anything. Now we are going to calibrate the 10 diameter crystal 4 MHz frequency transducer using the V1 block right here. I have already applied the couplet. Uh, I have put oil, uh, 2T oil, motor oil. Uh, so first we, what I am going to do is place the probe on the V1 block. I am getting 4 signals which is the back wall echo. What do you mean by the back wall is uh, the sound waves go, uh, go and touch the bottom and uh, reflect back. That that signal is called the back wall echo. So right now, I'm going to be placing the gate right here to see the depth 
which is showing 90.3 mm uh, I set the unit as metric so you can see in this menu menu number 8 unit is metric if you want you can set inches according to your preference so I'm getting 19.3 mm I know this value is 25 so I'm going to set the probe 0 to 25 mm I'm going to adjust the probe 0 so that I'll get 25 mm as my first back wall this key right here is called the hot key uh, or uh, which is used for uh, you know moving the uh, but uh, this key right here is the hot hot key uh, which is used for moving the you know values faster much faster so I'm going to set this back wall at 25 mm already it's 26 since we know the thickness of the view on block as 25 I'm going to set this as 25 mm I'm getting 24.3 so I'll adjust a little bit more 24.6 25 25.2 there will be a deviation uh, which is mentioned as a tolerance in the standards uh, I'm getting other, other three back walls which is at 50 mm 75 mm and 100 mm you can check this using the gate moving the gate to the second back wall you see the values right here 50 just a minute and and this one you can reduce your level check it just 75 and the last back wall is good I'm going to place this right here the level right here see this showing as 101.2 that's okay this is the normal calibration using a v1 block but there are several steps to it like checking the vertical linearity resolution sensitivity and so on so let me do the resolution check right now which is as you can see this is the notch right here 5 mm gap so I'm going to be placing the transducer on top of here, right here, to get this signal in my screen, which will be somewhere under here. here. As you can see, it is 84. This value right here is a, this dimension is 85 mm, and this one is 95, 91, and this last one is 100 mm. So I'm going to be apply a little more coupling here. And place the transducer right on top. As you can see, I'm getting three echoes in my CRT screen. So I'm going to increase my amplitude a little bit and I'm going to adjust my gate. So the first back wall and first echo I'm receiving is 85.6, which is right. This one, this is the first uh, echo, and the second one that I'm getting is 91, which is this surface right here. And the last one is 100 mm, which is the back wall of this material. This is what we call as resolution check. And right now I'm going to perform another one, which is called as sensitivity calibration using this side drill hole right here. I have to catch this hole to check whether I'm getting uh, 15 mm from the top and from here 35 mm. If I'm getting it, then probe is sensitive enough for calibration inspection purpose okay i need a little more coupling here and on the side as well so let me check if i'm going to get a signal right here okay i'm receiving two signals this this one and this one this signal is for the you know plexiglass which is the sound wave sitting right here and the one I'm getting near the initial pulse is the signal for the sidle hole which is 15 mm so it will be very nearer to the initial pulse we have to calculate it precisely so I'll reduce my gain a little bit place the gate 
is 14.7 ohm which is the first uh, sidle hole signal and I'll place right here to get the 35 ohm signal yes I'm getting it remove the gate also increase the gain value I'm getting 34.8 mm this is how you uh, check for the sensitivity calibration and the last step that I'm going to be doing right now is it's not the last step there's one more step what I'm going to do right now is uh, calibrate this plexiglass to the required velocity we should not adjust the probe zero right now since it is already set to 25 mm we should just calibrate the velocity of this uh, plexiglass so I have to check uh, should I, I should get 23 mm so I should check, uh, change the velocity to that I'm getting a back hole right here so I'll place my gate and check I'm getting 50 mm so I'll reduce it okay I have to move hmm. okay right now I'm going to calibrate for the velocity of the plexiglass so I have to move my uh, velocity change my velocity to the plastic velocity almost around 200 2800 mm 2800 <laughs> right now i am going to do the velocity calibration for the plexi glass which is in the v1 block uh, we know the dimension has 23 mm thickness so i am going to be adjusting the velocity uh, for the plastic which is almost 2800 meter per second let me move my gate a little bit to the front I'm getting 23.5 as my reading right now. Uh, let me see if you can adjust a little bit more. I'll go to the first menu and start adjusting my velocity once again. Yes. Right now I'm getting 23.1 mm. This is absolutely fine. This is the velocity for this plexiglass, and there is also one more step. Right now, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do the calibration for uh, amplitude control linearity, which is in the which is for the checking the gain. Right now, I'm going to set the first black hole echo to 80 percentage full screen height, as you can see here. We get the echo percentage right now, and the second black hole will be automatically set to 40, and the third one uh, 20, and the last one as 10 percentage. This is the dB step. I'm going to set as 6 dB. As you can see, 6 dB. And decrease once, we get 40% height. The second back wall reduces to the, the uh, say, 20%, and the third one as 10%, and the fourth one as so on. Then we, we have to reduce this once again. We get uh, the 40% will be reduced to 20% height. And then we have to make the dB step to 12 dB to make it, you know. Uh, as usual, as it was in the first place, 80 percent full screen. This is called amplitude control linearity, which is one of the steps in calibration of a V1 block.